So you think you're some kind of computer expert, huh? Well, today we're gonna find out for sure and separate the pretenders from the real deal in a test that I've compiled myself. We got lots of questions that will really test your expertise. And they're gonna get progressively harder, starting off with stuff that is just really easy. Like if you don't know the first ones, I don't know what you're doing. And how it'll work is you'll either earn or lose points depending on what you know and what you don't. But obviously you don't have to keep track if you don't want to, but there will be a score rating at the end. So I think you should, it'll be fun. So keep track however you want and let's get started. First of all, do you know what operating system you're using? If it's Windows, add one point. If it's Mac, subtract one. Just kidding, subtract two. And if it's Linux, add five. If you don't know, subtract 999 points because you just automatically failed. I don't know how you even function on your computer. Next, do you know what version operating system you're using? If so, plus one point. Do you know the name of this piece of hardware? If you do, give yourself another point. Are you someone who asks others for computer help? If so, minus one point. Are you the one who gives the computer help? Plus one point. Are you a hunt and peck typer? Meaning you don't know how to properly type on the keyboard. If you are, minus five points. Do you know how big your hard drive is in gigabytes? If you do, plus one point. Do you know your current screen resolution? If you do, that's one point. Do you know how many cores your CPU has? If not, minus one point. If you do, you get one half point for every core. Do you still use your computer's default browser? If you do, minus one point. Have you ever once opened up your computer case? If you have, plus two points. Have you ever once used Linux, even for one minute, just to try it out? If you have, plus two points. Next, do you back up your hard drive? If you do, plus one point. If you don't, minus three points. If you know whether your computer is Intel or AMD, that's one point. And if you've never changed your browser homepage, that's minus one point. All right, now things might start picking up a little bit. Have you ever changed your Wi-Fi password from the default? If so, plus two points. Do you know what USB stands for? If you do, two points. If you know the difference between a megabit and a megabyte, you get one point. Next, give yourself one point for every hour that you spend on the computer for an average day, not counting when you're working. Have you ever used the command prompt? If you have, that's two points. Do you know the difference between Java and JavaScript? If you do, one point. Do your passwords contain special characters? If so, that's plus one. Have you ever personally installed new hardware in your computer? If you have, plus three. And if you have more than one monitor, you get plus one for every extra monitor that you have. Do you know the difference between HTTP and HTTPS? If you do, plus one. Have you ever built a computer? If you did, that's four points. And have you ever overclocked your CPU manually? That's five points. Do you know what RAM timings are and how they work? That's three points. Now for this one, it's a little bit different. I'm gonna name some famous computer people and for every one that you know, you're gonna add one point. So they are Steve Wozniak, Dennis Ritchie, Richard Stallman, Grace Hopper, Kevin Mitnick, Linus Torvalds, John Carmack, and Christopher Zeckhauser. If you knew that last one, subtract 10 points because I made them up. And that's just a picture of Roy, a character from the IT Crowd TV show. And if you knew that, add two points. Moving on, do you know what the insert key on your keyboard does? If you do, that's one point. Do you know what the scroll lock key on your keyboard does? If you do, that's plus three. If you have not gotten a computer virus in the last six months, give yourself three more points. Are you someone who doesn't need an antivirus? Now you lose five points because you're wrong. Do you encrypt your hard drive? If you do, that's plus four points. And if you have a home server that you run, you give yourself five points. Next, give yourself two points for every network switch you have in your house. And if you don't know what a network switch is, you lose one point. I'll give you a second to count them up in your head. Should be enough time. If you have ever edited the Windows registry, that's plus five points for you. For those of you who know how to write a basic hello world program in any programming language, you get five points. Next, if you have ever spent more than one third of your monthly income on a single computer component, give yourself five points. And if you just gave yourself five points, but really your parents bought it for you, subtract 10 points, that doesn't count. Do you know what Google Ultron is? If so, give yourself three points, nice job. 
Now, you can give yourself one point for every extra web browser you have installed besides the default. All right, for these next questions, we're really going to figure out who the real experts are. So you better be prepared. Now, if you have ever created your own Ethernet cable, meaning you cut it up, added on the RJ45 connectors, crimped it and everything, give yourself eight points. If you have ever installed a custom firmware on your router, give yourself 10 points. If you have ever resized a drive partition, give yourself 10 points. Next, any one of you who has used a secure shell to access a remote computer, you get 10 points. If you use a custom DNS server, either just on your computer or on your router, you get 10 points. Finally, for every social media site that you guys follow me on, subtract one point because you really shouldn't listen to me. All right, now those are all the questions and you wanna add up your score, hopefully it did pretty good, and we can go ahead and score it. First of all, if you have a negative score, you completely failed and I'm surprised you're even able to turn on the computer. If you have less than 20 points, I'm sorry, you're just computer illiterate, but somehow still barely functional. You most likely just use your computer exclusively for Microsoft Office programs. If you have between 20 to 50 points, you're still a complete computer noob, but you most likely have used computers enough to pick up some knowledge here and there, but you probably haven't gone out of your way to learn anything more about them. Now between 50 to 110 points, people in this range might consider themselves computer experts, but they're wrong. This range is actually just above average. If you're at the higher end of this range, you definitely have the potential for becoming an expert with enough effort and time. Those of you in the 110 to 140 range are definitely computer experts, but maybe not professionally. Chances are you picked up a lot of knowledge just from spending countless hours sitting in front of a monitor. At this point, people probably think you're some sort of computer genius, so you could probably get a low-level IT job with little to no training, as long as you sound like you know what you're doing. Finally, if you have scored more than 140 points, you are a computer god. You are literally Steve Jobs reincarnate. At this level, you're either extremely interested in computers, have a professional computer-related job, or you're a complete loser with no social skills. If you ever had to, you could probably walk in off the street and get a pretty decent IT job anywhere, and with enough training and experience, a sysadmin job. Now, obviously, this was a very well-developed scientific test. Of course, it's extremely accurate. Though, I am kind of curious what everyone's score is. Why don't you guys leave a comment with what your score was, and maybe if you have a computer job, mention that too, so we can kind of get an idea. We'll see how accurate my test really was. So anyway, hopefully you guys found this video pretty fun. If you want to keep watching some other videos, I'll put those right here. You can just click on those. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and also consider enabling notifications too. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.